Okay guys, we're here, going to have our daughter. It is a rainy, windy day. We had to stay at Jared's parents because of it. So, because we didn't want to be flooded in. But, this is the last time. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. <laughs> okay. Sorry, this guy. Uh, and it just seems like yesterday we were talking on the phone that one Saturday morning with I bad know. news, you know? With the, the miscarriage and now no. here she is. And now look at this, we've come full circle. We have. Oh, she's kicking me. Uh -huh. I feel like I feel something. Yeah. She's been kicking you for a long time. Yeah, she's been kicking me. That's okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> we make a bow hat, huh? Yes, we need the bow. We finally get a bow. Yeah, I can't wait. That's been such a big deal around our house. Oh, we, <laughs> Not having bows, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Let's get started right away. Yes, first ever bow. There's a company called Little Poppy. Like Ooh, Poppy seeds. I, I actually think I already have this. Oh, you do? Okay, because you know they send you new bows every month. Yeah, I just. Since she was going to be born in September, I just like signed up for the September one. Good, good, good. I like the, that company. I think I was going to tell you about it last time, but I don't want people to think I'm crazy for having a bow subscription. Uh, no. Ask my husband. We've got... We have a bow board. A board of bows, yeah. I do. I have a bow board. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I do. Thanks for crazy, Madison. <laughs> What color hair do you think? Do you think she'll have hair like Henry? Hair okay? No. I did. No. There was a tree down. I say Henry no hair. hair. On the of Royal I Forest. say no hair. Yeah. Jack had basically yeah. uh, like peach buds. I don't even remember. <laughs> well, we just, I was just telling you little teeth. We moved out of our Oakhurst house. That is thick meconium uh, hair. Alright, I'm getting her out, so you're going to get a lot of pressure, Madison, okay? Because I'm getting her head out. We can put the bladder right now. A lot of pressure on your chest. Her head, she went poopy, so she's a little green baby. <laughs> Hi! Did you go poopy? Okay, we got a double nuple. A cord is around her neck, Madison. Is she okay? She's okay, yep. I'm just going to go with this. Okay. We're going to suction out the little meconium. She's okay. She was... Hi! Hey. Hey. I know. You just want to meet me. You just want to meet me. Oh. Hi! You want to take a picture Nine of her? Nine twelve. Nine twelve. Nine twelve. Nine twelve. Nine twelve. Nine twelve. Oh, she opened her eyes. Yeah, she, she did. did. <laughs> She's big. Yeah. She's pretty big. Yeah. Oh my goodness, she looks. A little bit, nice. yeah. Nose and a little eyes. She definitely looks like you. Oh, she looks like you. Hi, Emma. Hi, she's got some hair. Hi, pretty girl. Oh, she's got a lot of hair. Is this the weight? Uh, oh. Yeah. oh, okay. This is how old she is, though. A minute and seven seconds. There we go. That's her age. I'm just gonna suck some of that out of her. Some of that poop. Some of that poopy water. Good girl. Good <laughs> girl. Sorry, I should have led with that. Yeah. It's definitely a girl. It's the first thing I looked for. Good. I know. It's hard to believe. I know. We got it. We got it. 
Way more quiet than Jack was. Jack was just going nuts. <laughs> Okay. And take a picture of her with your weight. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, good at What is that? That's her state of health. Okay. So her, yeah, her color, her grimace. Ten is perfect, and we just don't give it because it's superstitious. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, you can't, you can't give tens. It's superstitious to give anybody a perfect score. You can't give tens, I agree. Oh. Yes. If she could, she probably would, but <laughs> we don't want to jinx nothing. Three vessels. Don't she look like you're going for you to meet her? It's just like you. Hey guys, so I think I have, my hair looks crazy and I think I've like ripped off tons of my makeup because I'm so itchy from surgery, but I just wanted to update you guys on how things are going. She is just a few hours old and she's actually breastfeeding right now. She's been doing really, really good with breastfeeding, though um, I know that it can go downhill fast. So, um, but for now, we are just enjoying it. She's actually pooped a bunch of times already. Um, so that has been funny. She pooped when she was born. I don't know if you guys saw that in the footage, probably. And then she had the cord around her neck, which really scared me, but she was totally fine once they got the cord off. So, and she's been in great health. Um, they gave her like a nine. 0.9 or something like that out of 10 so and they just don't give 10s apparently um but she is doing so so good i'm doing good i the c-section was definitely very painful it was the most painful c-section that i have ever had and i got my tubes tied so i don't know if that was part of it but and, you know, and this is my fourth C-section, so I've had a lot of C-sections, so probably all of that combined, um, I don't know, but it was definitely the most painful. Um, right now, it's just me. Jared went to go get some food because he hasn't eaten all day. It's like noon. Of course, I haven't eaten, <laughs> but I've had some ice chips. I did not throw up, which is very good because with Jack, I did after the c-section shortly after i threw up a couple of times so i've actually feel like they gave me a bunch of stuff like even the sticker behind my ear to help with nausea and i feel like it really worked so i've been really happy with that um and like i said she's been breastfeeding like she breastfed while i was in recovery room for like over an hour now that i'm in my room we're staying in here it is um Sorry, I'm trying to hold this up. Um, oh, and she's gonna come up. Are you tired? I'll show you guys her in just a minute. She's just been breastfeeding so much that I feel like I've hardly even got to look at her, but she's so cute. So, as I was saying, I think she's basically falling asleep at the press. Um, she's kind of sucking a little bit but um so i'm so itchy like i feel like i'm gonna like claw my face off and they said they could give me some benadryl to help with that but i don't want to get too tired because i already only had two hours of sleep so this is how today started so this is a scheduled c-section that i had and um it was already three days past 39 weeks for me I was 39 weeks on Saturday, today's Tuesday. So I was already nervous about that because I didn't want to have to go into labor and all of that. Um, but I, uh, and it's like hurricane season where I live. And so I thought we had made it through. There was like some risks of hurricane and I thought we made it through. And then literally the night before 
we had like a big tropical storm um, warning and there's gonna be possible flooding like tons of flooding or we get tons of flooding around here and so the my doctor who I actually have loved she's been amazing this is my first time having her she actually called me she's always calling me updating me I love it none of my other doctors or my three other kids did that um, but she was like, I think you need to get a hotel. Like I would suggest getting a hotel near the hospital just in case there's flooding. So you're super close by and you can get there because if you don't get there, then they will cancel the C-section. We'll have to reschedule it and everything. And I'm like, I'm in so much pain. I need to get this baby out of me. So I was not happy about that. Um, but what we ended up doing is staying at my in-laws house. They're keeping our little guys anyway. And they actually live really close to the hospital. So we stayed there, which was good. That was safest. My doctor actually lives where close to where we live. And on her way here, she had to get out of her car and move like a giant branch with some other guy out of the way so that she could get here to do the C-section. So yeah, the weather stuff was definitely stressing me out. And I tried to show you guys at the beginning of the video, the, like all the debris on the streets and the rain and the wind and everything. but it didn't end up being like a horrible storm so that was good and we made it here so that was very good it did um there are tons of babies apparently september is a big baby month so there are tons of babies being born and so my c-section did end up being like an hour after it was scheduled for so we got here super early that was the other thing since we stayed at my in-laws and I was so nervous about the C-section. I did not sleep last night. Like I just laid in bed wide awake and could not sleep for forever. Um, I think I finally fell asleep around 2.30 a.m. and then my alarm went off at 4.20 a.m. So I got like no sleep. When we were here waiting, cause we got here at 5.30 and then the C-section wasn't until about 8.30, um, I did get like a 30 minute nap, which is rare for me. I'm not usually good at taking naps. But that was like a really good cat nap that energized me. So thank goodness because I was not feeling good like before the C-section even started because I was so tired. So I did get that in, which was good. Um, and then, like I said, during the C-section, I was in a lot of pain. Um, I could just feel like my organs being like moved around. And it was just like an immense pressure and pain. And this is my fourth C-section. So in the past, like... Like with my last baby, I did skin to skin right away. They put them on my chest. And as they were like sewing me up and putting the my uterus back in and all that stuff, I didn't even notice. Like I was just, you know, totally numb and fine. But for some reason this time I was in extreme pain. So we didn't end up doing skin to skin, which was sad, but it was okay. My husband held her, so that was fine. Um, I actually guessed her weight correctly. We, we all do like ever since Henry will guess like the weight between my family members and I actually this is the first time I guessed it right so last time it was my son my oldest Carter and then with Henry it was my sister-in-law that guessed it so anyway I was pretty proud to have guessed it so she's seven pounds five ounces so that is very exciting um, I'm gonna try to show her to you guys but she's really into breastfeeding already and so it's hard to show her because she's like right next to my boob. But I do want to show you guys. Um, I don't want to make this video too long. So I'll give you guys a good look at her. And then I'll probably do start another vlog that's like 24 hours after birth. The first 24 hours after birth. And I'm really going to try to vlog a lot of her life. Because oh, I'm just so excited that she is here. love her so so much she's so beautiful and everybody says she looks like me the doctor said immediately that she thought she looked like me and then the nurse said that later on too so i like that i want a little mini me she has dark dark hair like i did when i was born but then um she has blue eyes and i think it's gonna stick my two oldest have blue eyes which is funny because me and my husband and then my ex neither none of us have blue eyes but the grandparents do so my two oldest have blue eyes and then my youngest boy has hazel eyes like me so it was interesting to see what she got 
and I think she's gonna, you know, the baby's eye color changes, but with the way they look right now, I think it's gonna stay blue eyes, so. Um, but yeah, I'll try to show her. She's already trying to eat again. <laughs> she has pooped four times. Um, it's just, it's really funny, but okay. I'm gonna try and show you guys. Okay. There she is, my little angel. They gave us this adorable hat with this huge bow. I'll have to just insert a picture of her with it on. But it's so cute. I love it. I actually bought some because I didn't know if they would do it, but they did it for me. So I thought that was so sweet. She really likes to eat her hands, so she's probably hungry again. This thing is so annoying. It's totally in my way. So I have all this is like my IV, which you know that allows you to move around more than if it were in here but this is like in my way so hopefully they'll take whatever this is off soon <laughs>